Hey hey hey! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, and today I'm going to share with you how to auto-generate subtitles for your video. Not only English subtitle, but I'm going to share with you total four languages. Mm -hmm. How do you auto-generate subtitles by using only your magic fingers? So, check it out. Hello. So first of all. Go to CapCard, okay, click CapCard, and then New Project. And right now, I'm going to show you for English language first. So just import a video that um, you are speaking, or there is someone speaking at the background. Okay, so let me check out the video. Okay, this is it. Click Import. Let's play this video. Why my pictures are always blurry? Hello everyone, my name is Winnie and I'm a photographer who loves... Okay, so you can hear me speaking in English, right? So what to do next is, very simple, go to text, okay, can you see this text? Click on the text and then just simply click auto caption. Ta-da! And once done, can you see this original sound? Because whatever I have just imported, the first row is my original sound video. Next. Then select language here is English. Then click continue. Let's wait for a moment while the captions are generating. Alright, so now you could see it's already generated. So awesome, right? Why my pictures are always blurry, this and that. You can see the subtitles here. And next, you could edit your subtitles by simply press one of the subtitles here then click on style okay style and then you could even edit your wording if let's say you would like to change maybe capital letter W or you would like to change your tag so just an example yeah then click OK so now you have just changed the text go back to style you can even change the font type. Okay, can you see? I just randomly click on the font type. Okay, there are so many font types that you can choose from. If you would like to enlarge the subtitles, simply go to here. Okay, can you see this square thing? Just use your one magic finger and then expand it, zoom it out. Okay, or you want to make it smaller, zoom it in. You could also change the font color okay just play it around and also the colors here stroke shadow you would like to add shadow just click on those okay so for palettes let's say normally if your wordings here there are two lines or more hello everyone okay so you can see two lines right and you go to palette you click on left so the wordings will be aligned to left middle and to the right how about this one you can see instantly the wordings have gone vertically what does that mean is basically if let's say if you would like to type chinese words or other like japanese you can make it vertical i will just stick to the original so for spacing you can see it's basically spacing between the words space are uh, between the rows okay you can see between these two lines or words here effects let's say you would like to choose a preset color then you can just click on those okay bubbles bubbles basically uh, different shapes for the wordings to be in okay for caption wise i will rather choose none and animation what is animation is basically let's say here when it, it is in when the wording comes in there will be animation in other words there's movement and you could even choose the timing if let's say you make it to be one second so the movement will be slower okay once you have done for one caption you can see the rest it will change as well because this is generated by the auto caption feature so if let's say you would like to have a standalone text uh, for this wording 
Okay, you can see it's too long, right? Just use your two magic fingers, go to here and then make it smaller. Make it smaller so that it fits the screen. Okay, let's say for this particular word, and I'm a photographer who loves taking pictures. Okay, so I just change and then I would like to change effects before you would like to change for this particular one. Okay, just untick this apply to auto caption so that whatever changes you are making next it will only reflect to this particular wording okay so next if let's say i want to change to another font type okay just a simple one and make it larger a bit and click tick. okay so you can see when i play the rest the wordings are the same as previously but for this one it's different because i have already unticked this apply to auto caption okay. if you would like everything to be same then you just click tick take it back then okay so the rest will be same okay if you would like to batch edit just click on this batch edit and you will be able to see all the subtitles let's say for example this or you don't want it you just erase it and okay it will be gone if let's say you would like to play this particular timing okay just click play when you're holding the phone it's also stable and just click on that okay can you hear that okay you can just highlight that and then straight away you will go to the editing mode for the phone okay you can just edit it right away how simple and cool is that by just using one magic finger and you are able to auto generate captions it is really really time saving and also convenient isn't it okay comment below if you think that this is awesome this app is really awesome so next i'm going to show you okay new project how to generate subtitles for japanese language okay let me find the video this one okay you can hear all right i'm going to auto generate this caption simply go to text the same way and auto caption and you will be able to see this select language here click on japanese okay and then go back click continue and wait for it can you see? Okay, let's play. Okay, so here I will be changing the font, type and size. As you scroll to the right, okay, and almost at the end there, you'll be able to see other types of font. Okay, for Japanese, Korean wording. Okay, you just enlarge it and then apply some color. Okay, just for us. As an example, okay. Okay. So obviously, uh, you need to check whenever the caption has been generated, just in case the pronunciation that we we speak it out may differ from whatever it was being detected. Okay. So next, I'm going to show you how to generate subtitle for Korean language. Here, let's play. Okay, so now I'm going to go to text, click on auto caption. So instead of Japanese, now go to Korean and click continue. Okay, can you see that these are the Korean subtitles? Okay, obviously I'm I'm not well versed with Japanese Korean languages, so Yep, you can have a look with this app if you would like to auto-generate all these captions. Next, I'm going to show you this. How to generate captions for Portuguese. Okay, so let's click on the text and auto-caption. Select language, Portuguese. Go back and continue. Alright, and then I'm going to put it up here. So that you can see nós portugueses começamos a cantar por uma questão de começou com a Can you see this? It's really awesome, right? 
So this is it on how to generate auto caption for English language, Japanese, Korean and even Portuguese. Okay, hopefully there will be more in the future as this app has been uh, updating from time to time. So today you have learned on how to generate auto captions not only English but also Japanese, Korean and even Portuguese languages. These four languages in total. All you need to do is by using one magic fingers and just click on the auto caption button. That's all for today. If you enjoy watching this video, feel free to give me a like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys next. Till then, bye bye!